flockers on. I'm not a mean no lady with a heart like a flockers on. She got something. I can't leave that girl alone. Yes, I walked all night long in the morning rain. In the morning rain I was thinking to myself Will I never see my baby again? I stayed in Milwaukee until I was like 12, 13 years old. But every summer during school, summertime, my father would bring us to Arkansas and we'd spend the summer with my grandmother, his mother. And uh, so basically we knew Arkansas pretty well. So about age of 13, I guess he got tired of the big city and we all moved back south for good. Baby. I'm begging you, please. Don't 
gonna walk out that door Since I'm in love with you, babe You got me doing things I never done before I'm a proud man, babe Swallow my pride Stay just one more night I'm a proud man, baby But I swallow my pride Stay just one more night Much about me, me. Maybe this one time It's gonna be alright
I remember starting in Milwaukee. I was, the homes of Milwaukee, you got the picture of them. It was real narrow, most of them, most of them two-story with a big basement. And our basement was like a music hall. My dad had piano, drums, you know, just anything anybody could play. We had it in the basement. And every Sunday, it was all these cats, all these different guitar players and drummers and saxophone players, harp players. It was in our basement just having these tremendous jam sections. But, and I didn't have no idea, no earthly idea who a lot of these guys were, like Sonny Boy Williams and guys like that. They was in my dad's basement, you know, playing with him, Albert Collins, guys like that. They down there jamming on a Sunday, you know, drinking their corn liquor and, you know, just having a ball.
I was six years old in a nightclub in front of about 500 people in Arkansas, Camden. It's a club called Graham Drive-In. And it was packed. It was a juke joint, man. It was, you know, here I am, six years old, me and my older brother. And my dad always, you know, he's a proud dad. He was always boasting and bragging to this club owner how good his little boys could play. So the club owner told us, oh man, bring them boys out here, let me see. He said, all right. So he brought us out there one Saturday night. And we walked into players and it was like packed. And when we come in the club, people was like looking around like, who is them little old fellas? We carrying our little old guitars and stuff. Like, yeah, they gonna play. So the club owner said, hey, told the band leader, which was our cousin, hey, let them play. So he let us play. And I only knew back then, I only knew three or four songs to play, but they were instrumentals. I could play, you know, Alba Collins, Frosty, and uh, Freddie King, Hideaway, and stuff like that. Man, we got up there and played those two or three songs and like tore the house down. And, and everybody was going like, nah, they can't be six years old. They got to be grown little midgets. So they started calling me little man. Can't be no six years old. That's a little midget. Can't no, no kid can't play that good. So they kind of started, it started from right there.
your left on Hammond and Argy. Give it back to Mr. Bram Hall on Hammond and Argy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> To my right, to your left, on five string bass guitar, make him feel welcome. Mr. Don Garrett on bass, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Directly behind me, beating on the pot pans and buckets, we call him Short Dog. Mr. Cecil Park on drums, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> from LA, not California, the lower part of Arkansas. You don't know nothing about Arkansas, do you? Come on, way back off in the woods. That's where I come from. Where the mosquito grow this big. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been my pleasure and privilege to play with you this evening. Did you have a good time this evening, ladies and gentlemen? Wait a minute, I don't think I heard that guy way back there in the tree in the red shirt. Yeah, I'll see you. Did you have a good time back there? Let me hear you say, yeah! Oh.